Hey there, guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Man, it's been a while since I've recorded this, and there's, frankly, there's just one reason for why it's been so long, and that is because I am scared. Yes, I am scared of this next upcoming world. Not necessarily like, oh my god, what's happening is so terrifying, but, and we don't really need to go up here, I guess. Um, but it's more along the lines of, this is the world... Yeah, I don't need to go up here at all. Why am I doing that now? I guess I will not have to do that later. That's the only advantage to what I just did. Um, besides going the wrong direction, I just... This is the world I am most poor at. Most poor at. That's great grammar. Um, no, but, like, I'm just not very good at it. And I'm afraid it's... I feel up till now I'm very happy with the run I've made. That ugly bear, you feathered freak, is nothing but a stupid geek. Well, that's not very nice. I like geeks. Grunty's mean. Either way, as I was trying to say before Grunty so rudely interrupted me, yeah, I'm just, I'm satisfied with how I've played this game so far, but I'm afraid this level is going to be, um, <laughs> and those of you who, well, this isn't the proper expression, but it's going to be the straw that broke the camel's back. And those of you who are laughing right now, you've played this game before. Um, perhaps multiple times. Um, to the rest of you who are not laughing right now, um, you will understand shortly. Because I'm about to go into this level, Gobi's Valley. Um, this can be a very quick level, a quick and painless level. Um, it can also be a long, arduous process. I'm hoping for the former. Um, let me just say that right now. Um... So, I mean, first things first, let's just um, have Bottles talk to us and be like, you'll find one more move in here, Banjo. Well, yes, yes we will. Um, but that's going to be something I guess we'll find later on. First off, my voice is going to go crazy and be like, yo, dog, we heard you like talking, so we're not going to let you talk. And that's exactly what it did. Um, if we get up here, however, first, first things first again, as I was saying earlier, is there's going to be a mumbo token that's very easy to miss if you jump off the... Oh, no, do not fall off. If you jump off the Sphinx's nose, like so. And now if we jump out here to these platforms, there's gonna be lots of feathers, but by those... Oh, what the hell am I doing? No, his nose is all blocked up, poor guy. So if you shoot an egg in each of the nostrils, you can actually get the other nostril from here, like so. Um, and if you do that, he'll sneeze. I don't quite know how that stone is moving, but he will do so, and then you can enter him. Um, which sounds horrible, but, yeah. Note that you didn't really get, a, well, I guess, never mind. That doesn't make any sense. But I was, why won't you get on that, oh my god. Get on the carpet. Thank, oh, oh my, <laughs> this, I should just start the video over. That's terrible. I don't even know what just happened. However, once you're on said carpet that I seem to have so much trouble doing, you'll find yourself a note, and you'll also find yourself a little, a buddy sphinx off to the side, and when you shoot, when you feed said sphinx with egg, oh my, I'm not gonna make it. I slid off the side. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I should seriously just drop this recording right now if I can't seem to play this game. I mean, seriously, I'm sitting here just saying how I'm pleased with this run so far, and all of a sudden I forget how to play this game. This is this is unacceptable, frankly. I don't. I should just stop what I'm doing and go throw myself off a cliff of banjo kazooie size proportions. Okay, well now with said physics out of the way, thank you. And you'll notice these carpets are getting smaller and smaller as we go along. So be, be wary of that as well. And then, oh man, that was fast. I almost missed that. Didn't pull out the kazooie legs fast enough. Hmm, man, I, this is just, this is not the way it was supposed to go. Um, watch out for this hand. It will chase you around and try to flatten you like, like so. But you can steal its mumbo token if you're fast enough. Also, don't forget the notes in the corner of this. Like, I can't name them. Well, I could probably count the number of times if I remembered that I've forgotten the notes. I've only beaten this game probably ten times or something. That's pretty. That's a pretty easily countable number. Um, I digress, however. Um, but yeah, just don't miss the notes. I mean, seriously. Why did that... Why was that so much words? Also... Mm, yeah, if you jump in the corners here, you can actually make it up like that. You can't do that on the other side. So, just a fun fact um, for those of you who try to play these games quickly. 
like I do. Um, there you are, you first little guy. Um, that's a little time-saving thing, so you don't have to, like, um, not, actually, I want to say circle jump, but that's not what it is. It's the, it's just the backflip jump thing. You don't have to do that. Um, also, you might be wondering why I'm not beat bombing, and that's because beat bombing's interaction with these little, um, rings is not the best thing in the world. Um, it's sketch at best. Um, like, it only registers that you made it through the ring, like, half the time. At least on the 64 version. Um, but, yeah, that's just my experience with it, therefore I don't do it. Um, you guys are, of course, welcome to do as you please. I just, I have not had good experience with it, so therefore I'm not going to do it. And now if you make it through the final ring over there, these are all little more buddies faces. Um, reminds me of the Buddy Jesus, if you've seen that YouTube video. If you haven't, um, you might find it offensive if you're religious. I am religious. Only joking, mortal. We can only give you this. Well, they had been promising us immortality, which I failed to mention. Um, if we, if we go through all the rains. Unfortunately, immortality is still a slight bit out of our grasp. Uh, oh, we are almost able to pick up the Jiggy in the air. This is the top of the Sphinx edition of the Jiggy Dance. Um, now if we get back right in the air, you might see a target over there. Um, you see this a lot more in Banjo-Tooie, honestly. Well, at least you see it again in Banjo-Tooie in, um, Cloud Cuckoo Land. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, I flew right past it. That is retarded. Um, either way, if you beat bomb right into this target, the door right on the front there opens, and you'll have 20 seconds to get down there. I mean, honestly, it's really no trouble to get down there in 20 seconds. What I generally do is just, oh, don't jump on that. Um, that right there. That's all there is to it. Just land, and like so, you have it, and you're inside. Um, inside each of those, inside each of these alcoves, there's two notes. There's also a mumbo token you don't want to forget. Hello, my friend. I am Ruby. Can I be of some assistance? We're looking for a treasure, pipe boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it, yes? Well, yes, and you might be wondering, well, where is it, and how the heck do we get it? Well, all will be revealed in good time. First off, all our notes. Second off, you might see this... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Why did I do that? Either way, you poo eggs into this thing, and... Oh, no, oh, 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 okay. More eggs. I'm running out of eggs here. You poo eggs into it, and you jump on the snake. Jump on the snake. Thank you. And Hissed Up will now help you with your quest. Yes, I see that. And you might be like, oh my god, WTF Barbecue. Also, the physics with his head are kind of odd. This is the top of the snake head edition of, of the Jiggy Dance. Um... So I would definitely not recommend jumping while he is raising, um, because it will end poorly for you. You will most likely fall through his head, and you will not be a, you will be the saddest of pandas. Let me just say that. Okay, so right here as well it should be right here, I believe. Nope, it's one more over. Damn. I apologize. I have already screwed this up. Well, I guess this episode was defunct from the beginning when I was, like, screwing up with the, with the carpets. But I guess that's what happens when you get a big head. You're like, oh, I'm happy with what I've done so far. And then and then it's just like, nope.avi. And they're like, you just can't have nice things. So if you come over here, there's this guy. Um, I'd recommend you get it now. It's just it's too easy to forget about later. It's going to open up that little thing, um, the honeycomb piece in there. Also, we have our first Jinjo, and then on top of the pyramid here, there is a sun, and just like with the Jinjo thing and the, um, and the Jinjo door opening, there's gonna be a door that opens right here. Um, also, just pick up those notes on the way down, it's pretty hard to miss. Oh, uh, okay, um, okay, where are all these things? I'm not sure, I will be right back and getting a phone call. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Also, let's take out Nope, take out. What the f... But... Why... Thank you! I wouldn't pull out the things for some reason. Also, um, I think my mistake was that the Jinjo is there. Yes, it is. Okay, awesome. Now I'm back on track. So egg there. Um, egg here. Mumbo token here. Honeycomb. Honeycomb. Yep, I think so. Yep. Kazooie. And then Kazooie straight across, right? Uh, yes. And 
Banjo, and then Banjo's on Kazooie's eyes. Mumbo, and Mumbo's in the top left corner. Um, just one of those things you remember. Uh, Feather is the of Feather, and then Note is in the bottom left-hand corner in Banjo's face. And there you have it. There is the entire puzzle in a decently quick amount of time. Uh, minus that phone call. Sorry, work was calling. Uh, Goddamn work, I know, right? I've actually been opening uh, recently, opening the store, which means I'm getting home at a reasonable hour instead of, like, 10 p.m. So that's why work is calling, because <laughs> they're still open while I'm sitting here recording. I almost feel bad for them, and then they call me, and then I don't feel bad for them anymore. I'm just like, why are you calling me? Uh, oh, man, I almost fell off the edge there, too. This is just a messy episode. Um, okay, if you shoot three eggs into these guys' mouths, they will sink back in, they'll burp, and we will raise out this pyramid. Um, well, just the tip. Um, the head is cresting. Ooh, that's a disgusting. Never mind, I didn't say that. Um, okay, so there's a, there's a flight pad right there. And because we're so close to our, um, oh, man, okay, if I turn around the right direction, um, we're so close to our little honeycomb piece there, or honeycomb, um, container, is that what it is, a honey container, honeycomb container, something, um, let's just pick it up now, also, let's see, oh, watch out for the hand, do not get smashed by that hand, dead hand, um, oh, we didn't learn, we didn't learn the move yet, how did I, how did I forget the move, it's the move, I mean, serially, Okay, stupidness aside, the move is going to be right over there. And actually, while we're here, you know what? Let's pick up some notes. Um, okay, note. Jump out, because I do not want to get um, dead. Being dead would suck. grabba has got a jiggy. Nur, 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 nur. Okay, so here is bottles, and I believe this is the final move in the game. These are the running shoes. Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make her run really fast for a limited time. Hmm, your energy's a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Well, thank you, B Bottles. That's the most important thing. Well ba well played, Banjo. You've now learned all the moves in the world. Um, or all the moves in the game, rather. And yes, that was, in fact, the last move in the game. However, don't make the mistake of thinking this is the last, the last world in the game, because it's definitely not. Can we get all these... Oh, we got bit one final time. I guess that's all there's gonna be. Okay, now, with that stupidness aside of forgetting to grab the damn move... Uh, we can go back up here where the shoes were, and we can get Grabba's Jiggy. Okay, so, yes, these boots do, in fact, make you unbelievably fast as we fall into the sand again. And normally, when you run by here, he will clench up and stop you from getting the, getting the Jiggy. No, I've had that a thousand years, mortal! This is the, um, thousand-year-old mummified hand edition of the Jiggy Dance. That's disgusting. Glad Kazooie was the one eating that and not me. Let me just tell you that. Um, however, there's still some more things that we can do with um, with the running shoes. Namely, this thing right here. The most annoying thing in this level. The thing that will break, make or break speedruns, depending, um, depending on the player. For me, this screws me over every time. Because you have to get to the top of this thing in an expedient amount of time, an unbelievably quick amount of time. And you know what? I will come back for those notes later. Like, normally, I would be getting those notes as I go, but it's just not worth it, because if I don't make it, then I'm more royally screwed than I was. Okay, phew. Oh my gosh. You do not know how relieved I am right now that I made that. Like, I swear there have been times where it's taken me five attempts to get through that in, in that amount of time. I mean, you saw how much time I had left. Like, half a second. And the thing is, at least in, I believe, the 360 version, um, that door starts closing at, like, one and a half seconds. So that it's closed at zero seconds. I think on the 64 version, and don't quote me on this, because I might be wrong. This is just my perception. But I think on the 64 version, um, the door doesn't start closing until zero seconds. So I think it actually might be a little harder on 360. But like I said, I'm not positive about that. So, oh, don't hit that again. However, we should probably grab our remaining notes that we forgot. Um, that's just how I think about it. That's my perception of the matter. As as seen through Super Genius's eyes. As seen through Super Genius colored glasses, maybe? <laughs> I see the world through Super Genius colored glasses. That's just, that's just a weird statement. Um, also probably untrue, because I don't know what color Super Genius is. Well, okay, I'm white, but 
Ne never mind. This has gone on far too long, far too nonsensical, etc. Okay, so we have another burping statue here. There we go. Okay. Now, once we've fed him, if we get down in the water, uh, you might have seen that mumbo token earlier that was down there that I didn't grab. Well, we're going to grab it now. Um, mainly because there's also notes down here, etc., that we want to grab. First off, the mumbo token, if you would please grab said thing. I was gonna go in clockwise direction, but now you're just making me go counterclockwise because you wouldn't grab the damn mumbo token. Oh my god, why did I not grab the note? I just, I wasn't hugging the wall close enough, I tell ya. This whole, this whole commentary, like, this commentary is the most uninteresting thing in the world. Because all it is is me saying, oh, I screwed up there, oh, I screwed up there, that's all it is. So, I'm sorry for boring you. Um, I'm not very exciting, I guess, when I'm trying to be, um, skillful. Like, yeah, talking, talking over the game while trying to be skilled at the game. It's just, I don't know, apparently I suck at it. Um, well, uh, right now I suck at it. Like, okay, here, here's a little insight. Did I already grab these? I already grabbed these notes? I don't remember grab- Oh, yes, of course I did. Never mind. I was thinking this was a different tower. My- What am I- God damn it. I can't do anything right. However, as I was saying, a little insight into my- You know what? Let's go over here and grab this guy first. Into my recording practices in Banjo-Kazooie. Generally what I do is I will watch a speedrun of the game, speedrunner 2, maybe YouTube 1, Speed Demos Archive, whatever. Um just to see how they do it. And up until now, I haven't directly followed their path. Like, in this episode, I'll be perfectly honest with you, for the most part, I'm following the speedrun's path. Um, and that is for the simple reason of, after that, I normally um, play through the level on a practice file, just to get my bearings of the level, etc. Well, with Gobi's Valley, I was unable to do that. Well, I did that, but I only did it halfway, because I got interrupted and I had to go take care of some stuff. Um, this is King Sandy Butt's tomb. Turn back or face his wrath. Well, we are now facing his wrath, and oh my god, we are, like, stuck here. So, normally you make it- make your way through this maze, etc. Um, however, you can actually jump off the- Oh, I didn't make it. You can jump off the wall there, and get on top of the maze. And if I don't make it here shortly, I'm gonna have to forego the wall. Oh, there- oh, damn it! I made it, and then I screwed it up. By the way, that's a way thats a way you can do it. Um, also, this is super time-consuming, because on the 64 version... Um, you know what? I'll explain that when I get to it. I'm getting ahead of myself here. My, my apologies. So, there. We made it through. No! The bear survived! He's after the king's ancient relic! Well, yes, yes, we are. But we're after this jiggy right here. And is it just me? Or did there stop being music? Uh, okay, guys. Well, I think the audio on my capture card just went out. Uh, which is not good. At all. So, you know what? I'm going to make the executive decision right now. I'm sorry if this is going to bug you. It's gonna bug me in the future. Um, but I'm making the, the executive decision right now to just finish recording this episode without the game audio. Um... Because, yeah, uh, I just need to get this recorded. I need to post a video of Banjo-Kazooie, because I haven't in forever. Over here is your bitch switch. Um, that's why I came back in the maze, was because right here is the bitch switch. And it'll open up that, um, you might have seen that, yeah, casket outside the spinning jump switch. Um, well, yeah, there's a, j there's a jiggy in there. Mm, this is, yeah, I'm not detecting any, o any audio input on my computer, so I am so sorry. Um, this is gonna be a very... that kind of killed the mood. And well, the mood was bad to begin with, I guess, because I was just super hating on myself and my commentary was boring. So, yeah, I guess I just kind of want to get this episode out of the way now, really, more than anything. Um, because that's just... that's disappointing. Oh, also, uh, something easy to forget is the mumbo token up here as well. Um, I've forgotten that many, many times. Uh, let's just grab our notes. 87? Okay, I'm still missing, uh, 5 and 8. Okay, so I know uh, where all the remaining notes are. Now it's just to get the remaining jiggies, and I should know where they all are. Okay, so if we come over here and we get our, uh, is that odd over here? I guess it isn't. Um, 
Okay, in that case. Oh, that is disappearing. Um, yeah, I was coming back. Uh, I'm just gonna ride on this because I have like no health. Um, you can just forego yourself across the lava, but over here there's a camel and he's tethered. If you break said tether, the camel's gonna give you a jiggy and be like, here's your reward, bear. Gobi's off to cool down. Um, so this is the inside of a camel edition of the jiggy dance of, yes, eight. Um, oh, you're disappearing. Okay, which side do you show up on? This side again? I guess you appear in the same spot you disappear every time. I never ride on these things. I always just jump across the lava, so <laughs> I guess that's kind of n new to me. Well, not new, but you understand, I think. Um, either way, so now if we come down here all the way back to the beginning. Um, oh, did I not grab that Jinjo? Oh, I did. Okay, so where's the orange Jinjo then? Because I'm missing a Jinjo. Um, right here. This tree looks a bit thirsty, but I need all my water for myself. Well, there's more water. Give him up some. There's more water all around. So this poor camel's just getting abused. Oh, lovely water. Trunker feels great. And now he's gonna grow super big, just like... Awkward silence. Not gonna go there. Um, yeah. Either way, grab ourselves our next Jiggy. This is the um, ejaculated edition of the Jiggy Dance. Um, awkward. Awkward. Um, oh, if I grab... Actually, you know what? I think I can show off a little shortcut here. If I grab these little boots and we make our way straight up here, there's... Oh, avoid the hand. Sand, and right where the sand meets this thing, if you jump off the edge and you do oh no oh don't tell me i'm dead i am not gonna die okay thank you Whew. um you know what i'm not even gonna try that again i don't think that's not worth it like that oh man okay you didn't stop and disappear i thought you were gonna stop and disappear here man yeah this is just a screwed up episode this is i'm sorry um i was originally gonna post this as one video like that was my idea that's what i have I've been planning out this LP rather far in advance, um, but I think this is going to end up being two videos, unfortunately. So yeah, back up here, this is where the final camel is, um, well the same camel, just the final time you see him, and if we hammer him once more, he's going to spit out our honeycomb piece container thing. Bah! I'm lazy to this de desert to find some peace and, did he say sanity? Probably. Um, so here's our five notes, and now there's eight more notes that we need, and I know where all those eight notes are. First of all, however, um, normally you'll be hearing the da 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 like the secret music, and that was a horrible rendition of it. Oh, crap! Because, ah, uh, stop and swap. Stop and swap. I had the same problem in Sharktooth Cave, and I don't know why I didn't learn from my this mistake there. Basically, in our view total screen, um, stop and swap, we got the blue egg. The blue egg was inside that casket there. So, man, the next time I find some stop and swap stuff, I'm not going to gather them. I can't believe I forgot that again. That bugs me. Damn it. Damn it, Janet. Okay, so if we hop back on this thing, so we don't want to die. Uh, dying right now would just be the worst thing. And I have... I can't believe I keep going to this menu. 9 out of 10. Okay. So, but I'm missing the orange Jinjo. Where is the orange Jinjo? Um, oh, hopla. Okay, we got it. I was scared there for a second that I wasn't going to make that jump. Except now I can't hear the ticking noise. The mysterious ticking noise. Potter Puppet Pals. No, not that. Um, no, I can't hear the ticking noise of when it's going to run out. That's no good. Well, I hope I make it. Uh, 99 and 100. And we did make it. Okay. Phew. So, where is the orange Jinjo? Oh, here's the Jinjo, of course! How could I forget that? Okay, he's right there. So yeah, right at the... Right, oh my... You've got to be kidding me! What's wrong, Banjo? Is it tough? Let me know when you've had enough! I can't believe I died. Cannot believe I died. Okay, at least on the 360 version, I can just jump back there, get the final Jinjo, get our last note. Oh, 
What's up guys, post-production super genius in the house here, and just saying, just recording back over this to say that my audio isn't dead in my capture card. I'm still thinking about getting a new one because I could use one, but it's my recording software was not actually transmitting the audio through my speakers, so there was nothing I could do. It was like I couldn't hear anything, so I thought, so I thought it was dead. But that won't happen again in the future because now I know, and yeah, thanks for putting up with me this episode. I'm sorry it was so bad. Really, I'm, I'm sorry.